What's going on everybody, it's your boy Warmaster back again in another episode of Age of Imperialism 2 and today we are playing our final games again as uh, Russia, uh, Russian Empire because it's take too long so I don't want to prolong this game and it uh, looks like I'm at war with friends and I think it's lagging I don't know what, what happened, let me check So yeah, we're back, there was some error So eventually in our last episode we were at war with friends in which I did not expect the war to uh, start immediately. Uh, the death of the emperor. With the war for Crimea become a serious problem, the new tragedy has stuck our nation. Our emperor, while maybe the most celebrated or liked of Russian Russia history, has died. And with this, a new power vacuum has appeared in our country. With the new heir being reserved as he is, uh, seeing what happened at the start of the Nicholas reign, we will have to be fast and if we don't want to show an additional weakness to the Western and the Turks. Okay, coronation ceremony done. Uh, I'm not in the favor of fighting France, to be honest, I just want to go peace with him. But looks like peace is never an option, so I will just uh, recruit some men to the border. Alexander II. With the death of Nicholas I in St. Petersburg, the new emperor has risen to the throne. He is Alexander II and is... Uh, Widely different from his father, while supporting Nicholas I in his reign, the new emperor's ideas and view are more different to the paternalistic and autocratic conservative one of his father. He was brought up with a company of liberals and western thinking artists, poets, and while he does not show any sign of wanting to abolish the autocracy, many have hopes in our new emperor. Maybe things will finally change? Okay, I will never know. Let's just uh, scrap all my troops here from this area. I just want to move them out and place them maybe in France or I don't know. We'll see but it looks like they are stretching around here so meaning they are advancing. We can just take one. Oh, okay they have a lot of troops so we are not we are no match. You can see 4,000 troops what the hell. 14,000. Okay, okay, I think they're spreading, so uh, our best, okay, I haven't yet simulate the Turks. Let's just assimilate them first. Okay, and now they plunder a few of our lands, which is quite okay. It's not our main territories, it's non-core. Okay, we are too early in this war, like seriously. Uh, let me get some may okay this area because these areas are not our core state these are our core states so yeah way better so we're gonna cut them off around here somewhere maybe build some castle we can hold around uh, the small block I'm willing to accept the defeat, but looks like France uh, can have enough. So I guess we have to find our way in scrabbling troops. Uh, it's an easy choice. Okay. You can see the Turks, even though we own some of them, but still not yet good when it comes to uh, population. But uh, if you look into uh, Eastern Europe, you will see so many of our uh, land are black because they are heavily populated and it's easy for us. Okay. Okay, we lost around here, it's fine. We're gonna scrap as many as possible. Okay. We'll see. Are you f uh, surrendering or no? No, 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 no. They actually going to invade it more. Maybe we can take this. Uh, okay. Finishing what is start. The lands of the Caucasus have been slowly but inevitably annexed in our Greek Empire, but most resoundingly in the nations in the Caucasus. The Caucasus. The Circassian 
The Circassian have been fighting a century-long conflict against our state through raids and disorganized attack. It's time to end this. The Circassian have to be defeated and subjugated at all costs. Annexation of who? Oh, this one, huh? Oh, so we're not at war again. Oh my god. I was thinking which which state, but those area, the one that we assimilates. Jesus, we have fighting two wars at the same times. Okay, let's just take this one here, and there we go. Good, good. Uh, situation within Russia, we lost our uh, allies. The Ottomans are grabbing everything. The Austrians only exist around here. We might ask Finland, but looks like they are fighting with United Kingdoms, which is unprecedented to me at this moment. Fair trade. It's either great trade or fair trade. Okay, I need to end this once and for all. Uh, oh, we lack of money. The fuck? Because it's, the color is similar, I cannot differentiate which one is us, which one is our enemy. So, I will take a guess with this one. Okay, I'll send someone here. There we go. Right here. And, uh, hmm, I doubt this one. Do we have ports? Oh, no, we don't have ports. I will be, we don't have enough money to. If we have ports, we can just naval invade them. Let's see. Okay, and uh. Okay, powerful speech again. Okay, so we only have this area left and this one left. I think we can just annex them. But for France, France is out of out of league right now. Like they're fighting with us, they're fighting with America, they're fighting with who? Denmark, goddamn. They're fighting with Congress of Poland too. With Prussia and rebels, not Prussia, Carolina, my apologies. Cano, no, not Carolina. Canioli, Can, Caniola. Okay, I don't know which one is it. Okay, so France is a bit uh out of reach right now. But uh, I, I, I don't know why. But the kind of let me just sir, peace. Okay, they do peace now. I mean, I'm not ready to fight anybody at this point. It's too early. And they will know what's gonna hit them next. But for now, waste some money. Uh, taking opportunity in East, as some year past end of the damn war, we have to move our attention back East with Chinese in the South getting weaker after the Western meddlement. It's the perfect opportunity to get some more land for ourselves. The coast of Manjurian have been settled uh, from the Cossack for centuries now, and it's a perfect time to use the claim to the way and ask them. Fabricate claim. Oh my god, another war. I fucking hate this one. Like, for real though. If you give them this land, then you have to fight this land too. Oh my god, I fucking hate this. I mean, I'm not ready with this troop. I can just march in, but uh... Considering I have a lot of troops in Western Europe and sorry Eastern Europe and I'm not able to send them here as fast as possible Then I have to scrap them again and send them back to the Asian front again. What the hell? 
this is the problem when you're playing as Russia. You're dealing with multiple enemies at many fronts. And the events kind of fuck you up too. Okay. Let's just... Uh, let, me, let me check. Okay, I think that's enough. Sending troops here, moving them here. I think it has troops standby in... Yeah, a few... Oh, this one's actually good. Very nice. Mm, okay, that's... Okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna play nice. We're gonna let them take as anything as they want. But we are moving into the... Eastern Front. Historically, I think we did okay. But uh, for now, for the game, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, if you are fighting a war against uh, a Chinese and you want to take their uh, west, sorry, their eastern border, one thing you should have known is getting giving us all the troops at all the border, not just this one because we're not ready. The event is not like you can just click it in Hoi Four, but this one, it's coming up out of nowhere. So at least give your troops around this area to make sure you're ready. Annexation of the Far East. Glory to Mother Russia. Finally, with the capture of the Manjurian coast from the Qing, we have forced them into submission. Okay, this is quite pleasant. Now they will be forced to give us their land and some of their wealth. This is a great victory for the Russian Empire. Annexation, is it peace? Hell yeah, boy! Oh, so we give them peace, but they take all of this Chang land. And now we have the rebels to deal with. What the hell? Oh my god, this is... Okay, that's why we got uh, Vladivostok. Okay. And this is bad because we have our troops here as well. Meaning, this is a fucked up terrain. Okay, rebels, rebel, rebels, rebels, rebel. Uh, I think this is the final episode for Russia. And uh, we will do uh, Brazil in the next episode. I love Brazil so much. I want to do Brazil. They have so many good events. They are actually making a lot of progress in this uh, mod. So I'm going to stick with uh, them for a while. For Russia, I think it's enough because uh, I did what the Poles want. The Eagles and the Bear. Situation in Austria has been one of the peaceful disagreements since the dishonoring of our alliance in the Crimean War. With that show at disloyalty, the Austrian, Austrian have almost cut off our diplomatic relations. Then have rendered our opinion of them uh, insignificant, but they are the one who are in danger. As the second Italian independent wars has started, what should we do? We should enlive with them, you know. Okay, just give them some money. They are broke right now. Right now we are spending a lot of cash into military, as far as I'm concerned. We might need to invest something into production. Waste of time and money, okay. Actually, we are doing okay, but the event just fuck us up. Welcome to the new age. Some disease. A new... The end of the serdom in the end of the liberal mindset of our new emperor, Alexander II, has shown its fruits. After almost a thousand years of basically enslaved of a huge portion of the Russian population, the serdom of the Russian Empire has finally been liberated with the help of the anticipation manifesto created by the brothers of our emperor. This will boost our development severely and will inflict some immediate economic downturn. Okay. What year is it? 1861. Uh, we should play at least... 200 years before we reach World War One, <laughs> not gonna happen.
waste of time and money. I think friends right now is number one. They also take what? Oh my god, this guy is it's a beast. But uh always always protect your border. Uh I'm not so sure with the Ottomans. I think we might have another war, so let's just mining accident reopen a mine, okay. Just open and recruit more troops. Great trade, yay! We might be at war with this guy too. I smell it. Reopen the mine. Great trade, as usual. So, what? Wow, they need at war, Kaija. A new era. Alexander II has been a real reformer for Russia. He has incentivized production and economical growth. Has established a new judicial administration based on the French model. Has reformed a penal code and has given minority across empire new rights. Could this really be an enlightened emperor? These times are finally changing. Long live Alexander II. Happiness plus 6%, treasury minus 14,000, technology plus 0.4, economic plus 7%, movement point 0 0.9, diplomatic point point. Okay. Uh, production. Fail trade. Hmm. Okay, so the Japanese are fighting with the Persian, the hell? Tokugawa fighting against Kaja. And there are so many lands right here, they should have grabbed it. We have 1 million cash in hand, so I'm going to recruit. Because when you assimilate, they became our core, and when they became our core, you can just recruit as many as possible. Okay, another powerful speech. Okay. Woo, so many good place for simulations. Let's just take this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one. <laughs> All of these land are actually good. You can just grab everything. And in the meantime, you have a lot of cash, so we might take our revenge against the French, but we'll see how that works. Because right now, we are taking lots of land from. Okay, just this one. Recruit, 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 and. Okay, also some of this area as well. Oh my god, I love the black color. The darker, the better. You can just take as many as you want, you can see. Fail trade, never mind. Okay, so we also recruit some troops at the Baltics as well. And, uh, okay, I think mostly in the eastern part. Oh, in this area as well, at the Euro. Damn. Okay, so I think it's good for this. Uh, we'll see what happened next. I'm not so sure what's gonna happen next, but I have all of my troops 
at this area just in case shit happens again and be waiting for a new event just grappling and waiting for enemy nothing at all we are at war with who the brunswick prussian prussia okay never mind just end peace okay so i think that's it for today episode hope you guys enjoyed this one we will play another one but we'll see how it goes if there's a new event i will upload but if there's not i think we have enough troops for this one thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and put the bell notification for more upcoming videos as well and if you guys want a game link will be in the description for both android and pc thank you guys so much see you guys next time